going to have tonight. He is an anointed minister. He's a member of the choir. He also has a spirit of hospitality. He's a gentleman. He's encouraging. He is always smiling. And he is all, all about his father's business. I want to introduce to you uh, Brother Marcus Bishop Hezekiah Walker, to the dean of the school of Elijah, overseer Neil Harris, to the long form of the boys, to the road girl, Pastor Clay, to all the best and friends and family. You may be seated, you may be seated. Preach, Marcus. Praise him, praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get let's get into the word. Amen. Let's turn to Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. That's it. Verse one That's it. Come on, Marcus. Hallelujah. Somebody still got a praise one tonight. Yeah. And somebody still got a praise one tonight. Come on, you got to sound better than that. My God. Here we go. Everybody has a reading? Amen. Yeah. All right. 28. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, Unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I commanded thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Lifting up verse 2 again. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and the word is already blessed. Amen. Um, when I was given this assignment, thank you, Jesus, um, I was thinking about our class, our, my class that I'm taking is ministry, and we're learning about the different calls, um, being called to the ministry, how you were called, and I was sitting there thinking, like, kind of feel like everybody's been called to the ministry. It's, it's, it's our job here on earth to minister to someone and let them know about Christ. You know, um, and I said, well, where, where do I spend most of my time? It's definitely not in church. It would be at work. Amen? I, I spend about 75% of my time at work, I would say. And, and I was sitting there thinking, like, well, what does work really have to do with ministry? All I do is cell phones. <laughs> you know, what, what does a, a, a cell phone have to do with, in, with my calling or what, or what I'm looking to become, you know? And God gave me this subject called Stay Connected. Stay connected. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, just touch it. Stay connected. Stay connected. In, 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 this, in this season, we realize that cell phones have now become a necessity to all of us. And that's the only way that we really stay connected to each other, whether it's through Facebook, Instagram, or anything of that sort. And it came to me, my first point, to know who you are in your brand. And I was thinking about how my process is with a customer. For example, a customer comes in, the first thing they want to know is about different cell phones and the different operating systems and what phones have this app and what phone has that app? Because nowadays you can get an app for anything. You can get a Bible app, you can get a fitness app. If you want to learn how to cook, you can get an app for that, you know. But I was trying to think about, well, in, with God's people, with God's people, our operating system is the kingdom. Yeah. Living a holy and a righteous life, you know, putting on the whole armor of God, you know. Being able to minister to somebody else about the life that we already live. And they should already see God through us. Can I get an amen? Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 And then I was thinking about, well, this book right here is the life application. Everything that you need is in the book. Well, you better pray. If you need joy, it's in the book. If you need peace, it's in the book. Yeah. If you need happiness, it's in the book. If you need salvation, it's in the book. Yeah. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's in the book. It's in the book. Everything that you need is in the book. I'm on, no, no, no. Come on, stay connected with me. I'm going somewhere. 
The second thing I had to realize is don't think that every situation is to work against you. And how does that feel with cell phones again? Customer comes in, their phone is broken, the screen is cracked. <coughs> you know, if you have an iPhone, you know that the screen's cracked very easily. And it spreads throughout the screen. And the customer's big concern is, how do I get my information off of this phone? I can't see nothing, but all I see is a light. All I see is a light, but it's cracked. I can't see nothing. I can't accept no calls. But what is, what is this? And I said, well, what is this, what is this saying to me? That God will repair us. There's been times we've been bruised. Well, People have talked about us. We've been scarred. Well, you know, even our best friends have betrayed us. Well, I'm telling you, and, like obviously it's like even church people are the worst people. Can I get an amen? Amen. And I said, well, how how can you be how can you get repaired for something like this? You know, how can you get how can you get the information off of your device? You have to understand something that even though you may be scarred, bruised, you're still alive. You're still activated. Yeah. You're still able to get that information, but how can you get this information to God? You gotta be activated with a praise. Well, come on, touch your to Be activated with a praise. Activated with a praise. And it can't just be no ordinary praise. Well, because you gotta have a praise that will shake the foundations of heaven. That God would have to come and see you on your behalf. I think about Paul and Silas when they was in the prison, and they gave their praise unto God. My God. I call it the Paul and Silas prayer. <laughs> Praise. And it was gifts. They were singing unto God and praying unto God. And an earthquake began. And the chains started to come off. And they, they was up in an uproar. And I, I come to think that, what if we get to that place? What if we get to that place where we can... Praise God so crazy and give him an uncommon praise well, because you need an uncommon blessing and an uncommon miracle well, that nobody else can give you. Only yeah, God can. Yeah. Touch your neighbor and say, I need something uncommon. I need especially something in this uncommon. season. Yeah. And I believe that in the earthquake, I don't even believe it was an earthquake. The Bible says make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And I believe that they was making such a joyful noise that it was like music to God's ears. I believe that he started tapping his foot to their praise. Is God tapping his foot to your praise? Huh? Is God tapping your foot to, your hip, to your praise? Come on, touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, stay connected. Stay connected. See, I realize that if you stay connected, if you stay connected, that he'll give you the blessings of Abraham. You just got to be faithful and seek after him and diligently seek after him. Not just one day or the next yes. day, maybe Tuesday. No, every day when you wake up, you got to give him praise. Touch your name and say, I got to give him praise. He's been so good to me, I can't tell it all. My God is awesome. My God is amazing. Come on, touch your name and say, man, stay connected. Everything that you need is in the book. Everything that you need is in the book. Preach, Marcus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Preach, brother. Stay connected. Stay connected. Come on, touch your name and say, stay connected. Stay connected. This, this, past, this, past, this past week, I was with Overseer. What's up? Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> stay connected. God bless. <laughs> Stay connected, Doc. <laughs>